why am I here? I think with uncertainty that we're living in in our industry, and I'm talking about farming, I could be talking about Crofton if I was further up Scotland, but farming and Crofton, uncertainty, we don't know where we are at the moment, we've got massive political issues in front of us. What should we be doing? We should actually be looking at our businesses, and we should be looking at businesses. We shouldn't be looking at something that we're hiding. in. We've got to start looking there. I had a discussion up the back here about uh, what to do in a hill farm that's different. And I've been sitting there pondering while I was listening. I could do my sheepdog training trials if I want. I could bring people in to have a look at that. I could get them out there and look at the birds and that that's on my hill farm. It's actually thinking different. It's looking different. It's believing in what you've got. Make it turn into something a wee bit different. I'll draw people in. A big part of what we need to do is actually get public engagement. We need to get people to understand what our industry is. And I think agritourism is going to be an opportunity to engage with our consumers. And if we can get people onto the farm, we maybe wouldn't be coming under the same amount of pressure or under welfare issues that seems to be getting highlighted, the veganism that seems to be getting highlighted. All these things have been brought and thrown at our industry. We need to get out there, engage with folk, get them to understand we're doing the very best we can, we're producing to the very highest of standards, and we need to open doors. And I think through agritourism, this is a great opportunity. Well, I'm going back to the, the sweat, the assets part of it. Mark already mentioned assets. It's a case of sitting down and having a look at what have you got, what are the opportunities you've got. You might have a tremendous view. You could actually turn that into a cafeteria, you could turn it into another opportunity. And it, it is, we, I, I, I'm, I'm hoping that this is part of what we actually deliver, is bringing the next generation in to do this thinking differently to make it happen and see what we have eyed in isn't going to work anymore. We still need to be there as food producers. And it's back again to what Mark was saying. We need people to buy into what it is we are producing, understand what it is, and then go actively hunting for it once they've seen how we produce it. And I think there's a great opportunity in food tourism. And once we've got that buy-in there, we're actually going to help the market. Once we get somebody onto the farm, whether they're eating what you're actually producing, they're getting an the opportunity to understand how and why you're producing it like that, I think that door will start to open up again. So there's a lot to go there. And I mentioned the younger generation. We need to make this industry much more sustainable. It's not just about getting people out there and understanding what it is you're doing, what it is you're producing for them. It's actually trying to get into people's minds what it is you're doing, you're trying. I'm going to use the word profit. You're trying to make profit out of this. You're trying to make an income for you. And that can actually help the rest of your family. Because if you've got another string to your bow, this is a, a, a thing that somebody could develop. Somebody that's got people skills, somebody that wants to engage with the public. There's some grumpy I'll get some me. Quite happy to work away in a faraway field, sort my dike or a wall or something. But I know that my younger generation behind me, they can get out there. They're used to working with people. They're used to talking to people. They can actually use that, develop that, and again explain the industry. Hook them in, bring them in, and then once we get to the market, they'll see what we're producing as food. But there's a whole lot more we could do. We could actually, it's a day experience, it could be something else. We did shearing courses, but the amount of people that wanted to come and see what shearing was, they'd never seen it, didn't understand what the rule was about, some of them didn't even believe that you needed to take the rule off a sheep. We can do that, we can make that as part of an experience and get them into this is the world that we are living in and this is how we are doing what we are doing. So I'm not going to spend much longer on this, Caroline. Short notice, short speech. <laughs> <laughs> but I thank you very much and I definitely, anybody that's in here, dare to think differently because I think that's going to be the way we need to be going forward. I still think fundamentally we're out there to produce food, but dare to think differently, we're worth it.